Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to talk about Evil Dead Rise and where I think it would be cool to see the Evil Dead franchise go. Now a few months back I did do a video on Evil Dead Rise before the trailer where I was basically giving some of my worries about the movie. Now after the trailer it hasn't really changed my opinion. Now the movie itself looks visually really interesting. It has a lot of that Evil Dead flavor to it that is just really really good. and the movie itself looks promising. Now, I want to save my final opinions for when I actually do watch the movie, which I will watch it. I definitely want to give it a fair, a really fair chance before I uh, give my final opinions on it. But considering Ash is not going to be in this movie, which I'm totally fine with, um, I was thinking, where would it be cool to see this franchise go? Now... In the lore of Evil Dead, because there's a lot of lore to Evil Dead that the movies and the TV show barely just, like, kind of scratch the surface on. We know that Necronomicon has been around for centuries, basically. Like, it has been around for a really long time. And, you know, if you look at other franchises like um, Halloween and... A Nightmare, a Nightmare on Elm Street, a lot of these friend horror franchises are kind of stuck with certain elements. Uh, Predator recently, a few months back, had a movie called Prey, and that movie took place in a, like, I don't know exactly which time period, because I haven't watched the, the Predator movies yet, but I will get around to them. Um, but it takes place in the past, and it was a chance for the franchise to go in a new direction, and for the most part, people are pretty positive towards that movie. So, why not do the same with Evil Dead, especially considering now that Ash isn't around anymore, Bruce Campbell has said he just physically can't play that character anymore. Now, he has said, and this part a lot of people don't really bring up, uh, Bruce Campbell has said that he will play Ash when it comes to voice acting. That is why he did play Ash in Dead by Daylight. It's why he played Ash in uh, Evil Dead the game. And... He has even said that he would consider, like, an Evil Dead animated movie. So imagine, like, an animated Evil Dead movie that took place after Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3, which kind of explores, like, what happens to Ash after that, and him trying to get back to the present time to uh, Pablo, Kelly, and Brandy. Um, I'd, be, I'd be down for that. Um, I, I would like to see Ash still somewhat involved with the franchise. I mean, Bruce Campbell is involved with the new movie, which is great, but... Um, I would like to see um, Ash himself still be involved somewhat, but that's where I will get to this. Um, why not have Evil Dead movies that take place in different time periods? Now, Ash found the Necronomicon in the 80s, and pretty much, like, if you look at the continuity, which Evil Dead has a very fucked continuity, but there is a reason for that, because movies being owned by different license holders, they didn't have the license for certain movies and stuff. Um, Ash had the Necronomicon from the 80s all the way up to uh, the current day when he read from it in the TV show. And at the end of the TV show, uh, spoiler alert, by the way, like at the end of Ash vs. Evil Dead, he did, um, like, the Necronomicon got taken by the Dark Ones. So... Potentially, if if because from what I heard, Evil Dead Rise is in the same universe as the movies and the TV show. Well, at the very least, the movies, but Ash vs. Evil Dead is in the same universe as the TV series. So, realistically, the Dark Ones would have the Necronomicon. No, it's possible the Necronomicon ended up somewhere else, and you know, you know, the the main characters of Evil Dead Rise will hear about it then, and then you know, all hell will break loose for them. It would be really cool to see Evil Dead movies that take place in different time periods. Um, especially because we've only really gotten that once with Evil Dead in terms of the, the actual movies um, where Ash goes back to like the Middle Ages. Now, in the comics, I know they've explored a lot of different things with Evil Dead, but the comics aren't canon, so it would be cool to see like movies take place in different times. Now, the problem with this is that from what we know, the, the Necronomicon was in Castle Kandar from when Ash got it back in Army of... Well, no, it, it was there from Army of Darkness when Ash retrieves it from the cemetery. It was there all the way up until uh, Professor Noby finds it 
before the events of the first Evil Dead movie. So you could say it wouldn't make sense for the Necronomicon to be found in different places. However, you could also say that the uh, the Knights of Samaria, who is a group we see in Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3, probably any time someone takes the Necronomicon, they bring it back to Castle Kandar. So you could realistically do like stories where the book ends up in different time periods with different people. Like I was thinking, imagine like a World War Two era Evil Dead movie. Like I don't know, like they do something fucking insane. Like Hitler gets the fucking Necronomicon, and we get like Nazi Deadites. That would be a fucking insane movie. So it would be like that would be a really insane movie. And I think in the comic books, Ash has actually fought Hitler. So there is that. <laughs> So it would be cool to see like different era Evil Dead movies. So like ones that take place in like the 40s or even like ones that take place in like different periods in history. You know, an old Western style um, Evil Dead movie. It would be cool to even have Bruce Campbell in it as like a relative, like a, an ancestor of Ash. He, he, but like he's clearly like old in the movie. Like he's not a dead eye fighter baby. It's like a, an ancestor of Ash that like, I don't know, like, uh, tells the new characters, like, how to fight the Deadites and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't know. They, they, there's a lot they can do with Evil Dead moving forward. And if Evil Dead Rise does really well, we could see more Evil Dead movies in the horizon. So I hope to see them really take Evil Dead in some interesting uh, places. The fact that the new movie takes place in, like, an apartment building, I think, is a great setting. I think there's a lot you can do there. But it would be cool to see uh, Evil Dead in the past again. I think that would be really awesome. So, like, stuff like, you know, the the Western, the Old West, the, um, the war. It would be really cool to see Evil Dead in times like that. So, I think the future of Evil Dead has... You know, it, the future of Evil Dead as a franchise is really promising. And we have the game also that's currently releasing uh, more content. I know they're coming out with um, Ash vs. Evil Dead centric content in the upcoming, uh, I think, weeks. So potentially, like, I think all they've shown off so far is Pablo is getting a skin where he has the Necronomicon on his face. If you remember that from the TV show. And hopefully we do get uh, some of the uh, TV show characters coming up because I know it has been leaked that certain characters are coming to the game. And Bruce Campbell has kind of pretty much like confirmed Chet is coming to the game at some point. So hopefully these characters could be coming in now. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to see uh, what they do with uh, Evil Dead as a franchise moving forward. I'm really hoping that Evil Dead Rise turns out to be a great movie. I want to see it be good because I'm kind of tired of seeing a lot of uh, classic horror franchises have a, like a new movie or something and it's just fucking shit. Like I just, I just want to see the new Evil Dead movie be really good and um, hopefully it is. And yeah, like I really want to see good things from this franchise moving forward. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the game. I'm looking forward to Evil Dead Fries. I'm looking forward to what the future holds for the franchise. Um, I wouldn't mind Evil Dead Rise being like a one-off movie and we don't see, you know, like maybe it's just these character stories this time and Evil Dead takes more of like an anthology type style to it. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Um, I wouldn't mind even at some point getting like a Pablo and Kelly movie. I think that would be pretty cool. Called like the Ghost Beaters or something. <laughs> But yeah, like I would love to see what this franchise uh, does next, and uh, hopefully it does go in interesting directions. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will probably do a movie review once Evil Dead Rise comes out, where I give my thoughts on it. And yeah, so if I feel like I, like I don't know for certain if I will do like a video like talking about like doing an actual like full on review because it's very rare I do like proper reviews for movies so we gotta see i i guess um anyway thank you all for watching this video peace out and goodbye